All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at Portal. Portal was one of more uh, of the challenging videos that I've done. I've used Portals before, and they're kind of hit or miss with me personally, but they're an interesting way to take a component and basically append it somewhere else in your application so you could remove it from its current like tree structure that it's in. And it's not as complicated as it sounds, but also you should probably think about it before you just go ahead and start using them for testing sake, organization sake, does it make sense in your general application? So what we're gonna do is look at the docs then we're gonna do some good old typing and coding at the end. So let's just get to the docs. So it says portal is used to transport any component or element to the end of the document.body and renders a React tree into it. It says it's useful for a natural React element hierarchy with a different DOM hierarchy to prevent parent styles from clipping or hiding content. And it's talking about popovers, dropdowns, and modals. The last use case I used a Portal 4 was for a modal. I wasn't using Chakra, but it was for another project. I don't think I ultimately ended up sticking with the modal. I think possibly I'm trying to remember now, but yeah, I didn't have any any particular issues. Though, like I said, testing. Uh, gets a little weird with portals and it also supports nested portals so we come down into here and we have this import portal and then for the usage just looks ordinary we have i'm here but where is this text that says this is portal to the end of document dot body so let's go looking for it and we're going to see some other portals because this is the example page here and if we look down here we see shocker portal this text is portaled at the end of document.body. And that is this stuff right in here. And so we could use a custom container as well. So it says you could render the contents within a portal to a different DOM node. Uh, so we don't have to use the default document.body. So this is a way of just kind of moving the hierarchy around. We can use pass the container ref prop to set its value to the ref of the container you'd like to attach it to. So basically, what we're doing is saying, hey, rather than go to the bottom of the document, what we want you to do is take this content, this component, elements, whatever, we want to attach you to this other component over here. So we see that I'm here, and we have this uh, container ref right here. It says, this text is portaled to the yellow box. So the container ref, is whatever this ref is, right? And it's kind of hard saying ref, 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 ref. But we have this container that says, hey, the ref is set to this when we're using the use ref hook. And so this container ref is essentially asking, what is my reference? What is my container? Where am I going? So first you can look for ref equals ref right here. And so this is being attached straight below container colon hey comma so even though it's above the containers say no 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 this component right here is where i'm going you could have like 90 components in between here and this will still be attached to the very bottom that's the important lesson here is what in what order are these going to come so would the example make sense if portal was directly below box yes but i don't think it would have as much contextual content is saying, hey, it may be a positioned into the tree before it, but really we're saying, no, 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 we're changing how the tree structure is laying out. We want it to go after. And of course, you can nest things. And so as you can nest multiple portals within themselves, this will create a nested DOM hierarchy to make it easy to create nested modals, popovers, etc. And so we have the use ref again. We have this box right here. We have this red. And then we also have this portal out here says the container ref is going to be whatever this is in case it's going to be down here. And inside of here, we have another portal that says parent, hey, welcome. And then we have this portal here that says child, I'm attached to my parent portal. And so we have this outer portal right here. And this container ref is going to be this red box right here. You notice that this teal, which is almost like a green with the color white, 
text parent hey welcome is just kind of sitting in its spot right here but we have another portal inside of here and this is what is being essentially calling up to its parent right here its portal and then it's getting moved into the box below now do i think this is the most appropriate example i mean i think they should show that it needs to be done but they're not really doing this with like a modal popover it's just with you know boxes and, and text and that sort of stuff here but it's just showing if you need to make a parent portal you could have other content inside of there and it will stay in place but when you have another child portal inside of here it will look for where the container ref is and then attach itself thusly to it and so it says in some cases you might not want portal nodes to be nested to their parent portals to opt out of this pass append to parent portal and set it to false so what we're looking at in here is essentially this right here where we have this portal append to parent portal. So it's not gonna look up to here and then move its content down below. Instead, it says, I'm going to document.body. So just like above, this is asking, hey, where's my reference point? Comes here, finds it and says, oh, it's this ref right here. And it slides that portal text into this red box here. With this append parent portal, it says, nah, I don't really want to do that. I want to do my own thing. So we're going to right click again. And we see I'm going to document.body. So you could override that and say, no, just send me to the bottom of the page. And so we have here the props. A lot of this we've already talked about. I think what we're going to do is just get to some coding and uh, get this one over with and then move on to the next one. So we're going to do three examples of portals. The first one is going to be super basic. The next two are going to be a little bit more, I think, challenging. Um, I don't use portals a ton, but they could get um, they, they get pretty interesting in how you start attaching things to each other. So let's make a simple one and work out in complexity from there. And so we have, I am here, and this is portal to the document.body. So, okay, what does that mean? Let's go into inspect here. Let's look at this. We could come on into the body. And we could see this is portaled, is it two L's? I don't know, I didn't look it up. To the document.body. But if we look at here, let me just go to this. We have this div, we have the body, we have I am here. But as you can see, this gets teleported all the way down and gets added on much later on in the process. So if I wanted to come in and add, you know, some other text or other items in here, this is just getting attached to the document body down here at the bottom. So kind of interesting stuff here and where you could kind of choose things are going to be like rendered and, and put at. And the next example, what we're going to do is we're going to work with multiple portals and how you could not just attach things to the document body, but attach, start attaching portals to other things as well. It gets really interesting. So I'll see you all in a moment. Alrighty. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make, um, and I'm going to copy some of this in because it'll just be, I think, quicker to do. And I don't want to screw this up because this is a little bit of a nuanced um, section here. So what I'm going to do is move some code on in here, and then I'm going to explain it in just a moment. So admittedly, this one is still kind of weird to me because I don't use portals a lot. Like I said, I believe in the last video I did, but what we have here is these refs. And so let's just kind of look at this here. So we have I'm here and it's just hanging out at the top. That's that's it. That's all that's going on. That's why this is at the top. There's no ref, container ref, anything along these lines. And so how do we move these portals right here and, you know, everything inside 
and attach it to something other than the document body. Well, we have these refs right here. We have yellow box ref and red box ref. And we're saying, hey, this container reference right here, this, this is what you're going to attach me to. This is what you're going to latch me onto. So how does this work right here? We have this you know, yellow box container, hey. And then what happens is, as it comes back up here, it says, oh, we have this bra that I have. So it's attaching that on. And then it hooks down as it looks again, it says portal. This text is portaled to the yellow box. And then we have the red box, which just says, hey. So if this doesn't make sense, right? What if I wanted to move bra from the yellow box to the red box? How do I do that? I come up here and do red box ref. And we see it gets moved right down here. This renders and then in order, it just says, okay, what are the other container refs in order here? So starts at the top and works its way down. Do I need to just start attaching? So then how do I move this portal is text? Uh, this text is portal to the yellow box. What if I want to change it to the red box? I do that. And like I said, um, the reference here gets rendered. And then I'm, I don't know how if it's just the recursive motion. I don't know how this stuff works behind the scenes. But it'll come through in order at the top here and say, okay, there's a ref. Here's another ref. And in that order, it attaches it to this box right here. So let's see what this looks like. Let's do this as a responsive. So we have hey, right container hey, and then we have this portal, and we have bruh. And you see that this is attached straight to this red container here. It latches right on it, like I said. So if you wanted to come back and take this box and you want to have red container hay or um, not red container, but this portal or that portal reference this, all you have to do is do that. And now when I come up here, you could see that there's this div CSS, there's this container, and then attached to it is the other two portals with um, the you know bra, and this is portaled to the yellow box. So all you really need is a ref up here, a, a use ref hook, and then if you want to start latching stuff on with the portal, all you say is, hey, give, uh, that container ref, give me the reference, to either one of these components here, and I will be appended to it. And that's it. Um, that's, that's, you know, uh, the container hooking up uh, portals in a nutshell. And in the next section, what we're going to do very, very briefly is look at nested portals, and that should wrap it up. So see y'all in a moment. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to close out of this, move it over. And what I'm going to do here is just sack everything on the inside. And I'm going to delete this and just make this called, I don't know, ref. And so what we're going to do now is make a nested portal and I'm going to show what that looks like. So looking at this right here, we have this portal and its container ref is this ref right here. And so what does this mean? This ref, since we have a reference to it up here, what we're going to do is we're going to have this portal right here be attached to this. And then since there's this box and we have child one and child two inside of it here, 
we are now adding in that uh, component here to this box. So let's just pop this open right here. And let's go to let's go to this right here. I'm gonna open this up. And then we see we have portal portal city baby right here. And then as we pop it open, we can see that we are having a portal which is being um added as a child. And then we have the parent portal, which is this box ID right here. And then we're adding in the child one and then we're adding child two right onto it right here and so this is how you could do nested portals if you ever so wanted to do that and then you know go ahead and attach them to something else on the page other than the document body but if you like what i'm doing like share subscribe all that other good jazz and i'll see y'all in the next video